in the previous video, we glanced at the simple permanent tissues. And now, before moving ahead with the complex type, we need to stop by the concept of epidermis, the single layer of cells covering almost the entire plant body. We humans need a layer of skin to protect our internal visceral organs and systems, right? Plants are not an exception to this. They also require and possess a protective covering throughout their body, which we refer to as the epidermis. So do you think all plants will have the same structure and same type of epidermis layer? Well, actually not. Epidermis gets modified depending upon the habitat and does the plants need. Let me ask you a question. What would plants growing in the dry habitat need the most? Yes, water. In case of such plants, the epidermis forms a thicker layer in order to prevent excessive water loss. In fact, plants growing in desert have a thick waxy chemical called cutin in their epidermal cells which prevents water loss to the maximum extent. On the other hand, in terrestrial plants, usually the aerial parts have epidermal cells specialized in waxy secretions and it helps in numerous ways like preventing parasitic infection, protection against mechanical injuries and even loss of excessive water during high temperatures. In addition to this, when we observe the roots of plants, we find tiny, numerous hair-like structures. These are also the modifications of the epidermal cells which help in increasing the surface area of absorption. Talking about their structures, now since they are forming a protective layer, it is obvious that they do not possess intercellular spaces. Also, the cells are very flat in appearance and possess a comparatively thicker outer cell wall. Wait a second, are you saying that the complete plant body has a layer of epidermis? Then how does the gaseous exchange along with the water vapour release occur? Well, the epidermis is clever enough to leave some spaces or precisely pores in its structures. Yes, the structures of pores, which we commonly refer to as stomata, are the spots where the epidermal cells form pits or openings and are guarded by the kidney-shaped guard cells. The guard cells guide and regulate the exchange of gases and also the water vapour from the stomata. Well, till now, we have been talking about the leaves and roots. Now let's talk about the stem. Do you think the stem will also possess the same type of epidermal layer as that in the leaves and roots? Actually not. In fact, stems of huge trees do not even possess a proper epidermal layer. Yes, you heard me right. In plants which are much older, the epidermis is replaced by secondary meristem which we usually refer to as the thick cork or simply the bark. Cells of these layers are dead and compactly arranged without intercellular spaces. Also, we find deposits of suberine which regulates gaseous exchange and water loss. Well, this video gave you a brief idea about epidermis. Now let's move ahead and describe complex permanent tissues in the next lesson. <laughs>